Hi, my name is Dante. I'm a pony educator. I've been doing hair for 20 years now and teaching for about 15. Our model is Gabriella. We're going to be doing a long layer scissor haircut on her today. The first thing I noticed when Gabriella came in was the length of her hair and the fact that there was no layers in it. For the overall length, we are going to take up the perimeter to the chest level. At this length, we're still going to have plenty of room to add layers. We are going to give Gabriella a heavy square fringe that is going to complement her face shape and accentuate her cheekbones. I'm going to be doing square layers that are going to add volume and width to her shape. I'm going to be using scissors for the entirety of this cut and utilizing some point cutting techniques. Gabriella will be walking out of here with a whole new shape that will be complementing her features. We are going to start our haircut with a center parting from the front of the hairline to the nape of the neck. We're going to take our first section underneath the occipital bone and comb everything straight down on both sides. The first step in creating our square perimeter is to work from the center out using a point cutting technique. With this point cutting technique, I rest the still blade of my scissors on my ring finger as I work across the line. I'm going to continue working up section by section, cutting to my guide and creating my perimeter. It's important that I drop each section a little bit longer so that I do not cut into my previous section. In order to keep balance, we're combing all the hair straight down and making sure we don't over direct from one side to the other. This will ensure that we keep a truly square perimeter. I'm going to continue combing everything back until we run out of hair and finish our perimeter. Our next stop on this haircut is going to be the fringe. We're going to work from the center parting and we're going to start at the top of the crown and work out to the high recessions. This will leave us with a triangular bang section that will complement the head shape. In order to manage the density of Gabriella's hair, I'm going to break this section down into two parts. Like we did on our perimeter, we are going to work from the center out. We're going to comb the hair straight off the head and use a point cutting technique to execute our line.
Next, we're going to comb the rest of our section down and follow our guide underneath. Our face framing section is going to come from the center parting at the apex of the bang and we're going to comb straight down to the top of the ear. We're going to start our face framing just below the chin. We're going to point cut a nice steep angle in coming out right at the top of the chest. Our next face framing section is going to go about an inch back behind our previous section and come out just behind the ear. We're gonna comb this section over top of our previous section and follow our guide underneath. same process on the other side. Boom all the hair back and take a one inch section from the front of the hairline to the back of the hairline and comb everything straight up. I'm gonna choose the length of my layers based on how short I want my shortest layer and how much volume I want in the hair. I'm going to split my guide down the middle and I'm going to take a section parallel to my center parting and comb everything straight up. Look for my guide underneath and continue on with my line. I'm going to continue on with parallel partings working my way down this side. I'm going to comb everything straight up until I run out of hair. We are going to repeat the same process on the other side. After the shape is finished, you can go in and add your own personal touches to make this haircut yours.
This haircut's going to be a workhorse for you in the salon. You can change some of the lengths and the proportions to add variation and make it your own. This is the finished product. It's our long square layered done with a scissor. You can see there's a lot of texture there. You can see that this really worked with the proportions of Gabriella's face and really brought that added shape that she was missing.